Welcome back to Mycology Exploration. Home mycology made easy. I am the wife. And I'm the husband. And in this video, we're going to share with you easy ways to get started with agar. Agar for beginners. Agar mycology is a technique that allows the cultivator the ability to grow out mycelium with the least possibility of contamination while achieving the best possible genetics. Mushroom spores are inherently dirty, so utilizing agar techniques allows the user to clean out any contamination before moving on to the next step of grain spawning. Agar is derived directly from red kelp and is used as a vegan substitute for gelling and thickening various types of cuisine. It is also used as a thickening agent for the cultivation of molds, bacteria, and fungi in laboratories across the world which make it the perfect ingredient for home mycology exploration. Pre-mixed agar recipes are a great way to begin your agar journey. It takes out any guesswork while you're learning to make your own. MEA, or malt extract agar, is a great place to start. There are many different recipes for agar that are utilized for many different reasons. Cloning is the transfer of organic materials directly from the cap or stem of the mushroom to a petri dish for the purposes of creating duplicate mushrooms of the best fruits you've already grown. Through multiple transfers, you can produce very bountiful flushes. The heated stir plate and infrared thermometer are not vital. However, they really make things easy. Once your agar mixture reaches 140 degrees, all the clumps should be dissolved and you're ready for the pressure cooker for sterilization. We've got a video on this if you want to check it out. The golden rule is to pressure cook at 15 PSI for 15 minutes. In our instant pot, it fluctuates between 13 and 15 PSI, therefore we cook for 30 minutes. Once it's reached room temperature after pressure cooking and sterilization, you're ready to pour into your petri dishes. Our recipe calls for 25 grams of agar mixture to create 500 milliliters of agar to pour into 30 petri dishes that are 90 millimeters. You want to make sure to not overfill the dish and let them cool completely. We use a sterile air box, a sterile air box, to pour our agar for transfers and for cloning. Make sure to check out our sanitation and sterilization video. We've also got a video coming on how to make that alcohol lamp you see. We love parafilm. It is worth the time, energy, and money to keep everything sterile after you've transferred or done your cloning. The parafilm is very easy to work with and we recommend that you store your petri dishes before transfer and cloning at room temperature in a dark, dry place. Once you've done your transfers or your cloning, we recommend 70 to 80 degrees. Water agar is utilized to give the mycelium a chance to grow while not competing with contamination in the growth process. It allows the mycelium the time to stretch and find nutrients. We will be sharing with you water agar in different agar recipes, so make sure to ring the bell. Make sure you've already subscribed so that you're notified when we have new videos for you. Hit the like button and we'll see you next time.